Hey guys, this is RK, and I've been playing Terraria a little bit. Actually, I haven't been playing much of anything overall. Um, it has been atrociously warm in the Pacific Northwest up until about two days ago, when it decided to become freaking retardedly cold. Not asking, but uh, I it did cool down enough that I managed to come upstairs and play some games for a little while, and the first thing I did was play in Terraria for a bit. So, um, as you can see, this is pretty freaking hectic here. Um, I finally got, you know, built up a strong enough arsenal of weaponry that I felt confident taking on my first Eye of Cthulhu, except I got two of the fucking things. Um, apparently... If you haven't beaten the Eye of Cthulhu, there is a chance every night, like 33% chance, that he will get summoned automatically if you have X amount of health, X amount of armor, etc. Basically, if the game says, hey, you need to be pushed in the proper direction because you don't know what you're supposed to be doing next, here, we'll go on and, you know, shove his eyeballs down your throat. So, okay, that's nice and all. Um... However, he, I didn't, so I saw the warning that says, oh, Cthulhu may be coming, blah, 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 waited a little while, he never showed up. So I was like, okay, well, I'm going to go on and summon him anyways, because I had all these eyeballs in my inventory, right? Yeah, okay, so apparently, if you get that verbiage, and then summon him, you get two of the fucking things. Yeah, that wasn't so cool. Um, so I'm not going to show you this whole thing. Needless to say, I didn't kill either of them. They didn't kill me, luckily. Um, but I managed to get one of them to phase two, and then suddenly it got to fucking daylight, and they disappeared, which I don't think I've ever been that irritated in my life. So I did end up defeating him a little bit later, and I'll show you that video in a bit. Um... But I've also been hanging out with this awesome thing called a worm. So, um, I found it's called a bone serpent. So I'm pretty freaking close to hell level now. In fact, I've got, um, what they call a s elevator or a suicide drop. And it brings me down to lower levels. I've been doing some spelunking, um... Looking for goodies and things like that uh, while waiting for an open night to summon the eyeball of Cthulhu. And I found this guy. And he's actually kind of a pushover. I mean, he's damaging me, but not enough. You know, a potion of regen is more than enough to kind of take care of him. And as you can see, he just kind of splits apart pretty quickly, especially if you have one of those reach weapon things that can hit everything. Alright, so I finally managed to get a time period where I could summon the Eye of Cthulhu without getting owned. So I forgot to hit record as soon as I started, so I think I started with like 152 shuriken in this video. I had a stack of 250, so I'd already, you know, pumped some ammo into this guy. Um, he's actually really freaking easy. So, as you can see over on the top left, I've got quite a few buffs up. Um, because it's dark out and I didn't build, like, a full arena with lighting and everything on the sides, um, I got, um, I picked up a shine, or I created a shine potion, which basically makes it really light around me, and then I also made a night owl potion, so that I could see around me in a greater radius, which makes it pretty much, you know, a freaking cakewalk to see him, target him, etc. Um, I also have a regen potion and an iron skin potion, as well as a bowl of soup. And I picked up a stack of 250 shuriken from the... Well, I had some left from my last run. Um, but I picked up a stack of 250 from the merchant, and it's just freaking simple. Basically, you just unload all of your shuriken into him um, during phase one. The reason for that is because they will follow through into uh, any creature that is 
Um, any creature that's on the other side, you know, it, it's kind of like a reach weapon. You know, you, you can hit both of them. So you hit eyeballs and you end up hitting him. And it just kind of works out nicely for that. Um, so it takes out his little summoned fuckers. And it also allows you to damage him in the process. So it makes it really useful for that. And then there is, of course... Um, excuse me, then uh, he goes into phase two, which are these, where he's got the claws, his iris turns into a mouth, it's pretty ugly, um, and you start getting, um, you start getting all of these, uh, you know, he chases you around more and stuff like that, and then it's safe to really switch to the arrows. Um, I picked up some unholy arrows from when I was doing uh, my last run to the jungle biome. I have some corruption um, along the way and I managed to get a, one of the worms that drops teeth which turned into unholy arrows which hurt pretty good. I also had a bunch of flaming arrows from some chests and so yeah I, I, he's really a cakewalk. I mean I'm at you know, max out life of 400. I've got some mana, but no magic spells that I can use aside from my mirror. Once I've got buffs, you know, I literally could just stand there and keep hitting him. So, pretty much a cakewalk. Um, I did end up trying to summon him again um, that night, but I just didn't have enough time. So, um, that's what I've been doing lately. Um, Hopefully I'll have some more videos for you guys later. Until next time, take care.